Hey crafty friends and welcome to hashtag let's do die cutting Monday hosted by Tree Craft On and Kathy from Kathy's Creative I do it every time crafts and more I think that's right I think I might have got it right this time okay so a while back I hauled these uh clearance rhinestones from Hobby Lobby and I told y'all that I thought these would make perfect watermelon seeds. So, I thought I would die cut some watermelon slices and I'm gonna, I've got these three and I'm gonna color them in different ways and use the seeds and we'll see how it works. So, I'm, the first one I'm gonna, I'm going to use Distress Oxides and a, and a you know, my Dib Dab Dauber then I'm going to watercolor one, and then um, I'll either use Copics or Prismacolors on the third one. So let's do this thing. And I don't, I haven't done this, so <laughs> it may, it may not be very beautiful, but we'll see. So I think for my green, I'm going to use Mowed Lawn, and so I'm just going to go kind of like this around the edge. So I'm liking that. I'm saying that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it even sort of fades out. So, so far so good. All right. Now I'm going to put some picked raspberry and I may already have enough on there just to You know how at the edge where it goes from the the peel to the rind and it and it starts to kind of fade you know it goes from white and then you start seeing it turn okay that's my thought on that and I think I like it and then where's my candied apple we're going to go in for the red. And I'm just... Mm, that delicious part at the top that's just red, red, red. And, you know, every watermelon's different, so... Oh yeah, just a little bit redder. You know that very center of the watermelon that is just mm, good. Okay, so you know, I say that was probably the easiest thing I've ever colored. So, there's one. Now, let's do this. And it would have helped if I had got me a brush out. Because, you know, I'm trying to do this quickly because I'm doing three of them. All right, so I'm going to wet my paint a little bit. And then I'm going to do this. So I'm just wetting where I want the green to go. Wetting wetting. I'm wetting it. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just gonna go around the edge with that green and let it do what it wants to do. Okay, I'm going to let that. Now, the next part, I'll do pink again, like I did with the other one. And I'll just dib, dab, double that around. Okay. 
get it all in here too. Okay. Then, now I want these to mix. Or I don't care if they mix, let me say that. So, ooh, that is some juicy melon right there. And then as I get down here, I'll try to combine it a little more because I don't want any kind of definite lines. But you know, sometimes watermelon has those kind of white places in it. So that's okay. Stay down. Yeah. Like it. Okay. I think I better dry that one because I don't want it to um, bow up and, and not... Um, you know, I don't want all the color running to the edge like it is now. So, I'll dry that a little bit. Oh, that's a good effect. Okay. Now then, one more. Alright. So, will I do Copics? Or let's just do Copics. You want to? Okay. So for my rind, I think I will choose this color, grass green. I must like that because I use mowed lawn for. Now I'm just gonna do this around the edges. And see if it's see if it's as thick as I want it to be. Ooh, got a little thicker there. So now I'm gonna have to. Wah! Got crazy there. That'll be all right. Okay. So there's my green. Now let's use some. Oh, that might be too. I'll leave this a little too neon y looking. We don't want our watermelon to look. And that might be the, the real red that I want to use. Let's see. I was thinking I would well, need a like a. Oh my. They're all too bright. That might work. Okay, so I'm just going to flick. Like that. So that was RV63. Alright. And then I'm going to use this RV29. That's the plan anyway. And you can see this has a little tinge of pinkness in it. It's fine with me. All right, so now I'm going to go back with that. And blend it just a little bit. Let's see if I like that. I mean, I don't like my edges. So... Let's, and it shouldn't, it should be not so perfect. 
which I don't think you'll notice so much after I get my seeds in there. That's what we're hoping for anyway. I'm just going to kind of dot some color in to give it some... Mm -hmm. Okay, now for the fun part. The seeds. Let's see. That's not them. Ah, oh, and that's not them either. <laughs> okay, I know there's a little like, um, teardrops in here. Yeah. I was about to say. Hopefully I haven't lost my mind. Wouldn't be the first time or the last. Oh, these are such, per these are perfect for this, um, die cut. Okay, this is how I do this. I put these, I always put my things on there, and then I, I go back and glue them on. So, I want to try to, try to kind of get a feel for how many each one's going to need, you know. Per and personally, I prefer a seedless watermelon. <laughs> but, you know, for the sake of a, of the make, for the sake of the make, I think I need one more. Flip around there, you. Yep, like it. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to put some of these on here now. Get the right kinds. Not those. And get my little picker. can do all this together. I didn't want to put an even number on there, but because you know I have that thing, that even thing happening. Only I don't think I, I spaced it so I could get um, seven on that top one. So it's going to have to be what it's going to be. Love these little things as seeds. Cute. Now, of course, all these are upside down. Come on, things. I was trying to get away, but I got it. Y'all, it rained and rained and rained here, and now the temperature has dropped like a rock. I went outside to get the mail, and I was like, ugh. I had shorts on. I had to, I had to put some longs on. Too chilly for me. Now, when I get these done, I'll have them, they'll be ready for, um, card making. Or, whatever. <laughs> you would think something would want to lay on its flat side, wouldn't you? But no, they don't. Come on. The ones I don't want to use, do. What's that about? Ah. Uh. You know, whenever you're trying to do something and make a video, it wants to act up and be ugly. Now, there. What do y'all think? And which one's your favorite? 
Let's see. I'll have to get some alcohol after that. So which one's your favorite? I think this one is the most watermelon-ishy looking. But I mean, I like them all. And with whatever, this one is a little orange, which surprises me because that's the one I did with the oxides. Candied apple, I would have thought would have been more of a true red. Maybe I should have used a brick. Maybe I should have used lumberjack. I still can. Let me use a little lumberjack in there. Let's see, is it already here? Lumberjack. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Yep. And this one is actually too red. But hey, it's on the it's on the right side, right? It's that yummy, sweet deliciousness. So there is my project for this week. Thanks for watching. Let me know which one you like the best. And let me know if you try it, because you know, that was fast and easy. Alright. Well, y'all check out Tree's channel and Kathy's channel and the hashtag and um, see what everybody's making. All right. Love you guys. Blessings.